Uh, Janet, what is the rest of my day like? You have a staff meeting in five minutes. At noon, you're briefing your father on the Conesco merger. And your wife is here. So I hear. Everything's waiting for you. God, you guys are the best elevator music. <laughs> you wouldn't say that if you were stuck between floors listening to Build Me Up Buttercup. So what brings you by? I brought you a little something for your new desk. Well, isn't that nice of you? Happy two days before our four and a half year anniversary. Oh, we're still doing the half years. Honey, this is our ninth half year anniversary. It's a big one. I know. Check out this feature. Well, look at that. The dress comes right off. <laughs> hey, Dharma. What you got? Uh, nothing. I'll put it on your desk. Thank you. So, have you seen our new director of overseas legal affairs? Yeah, she just uh, transferred in from the Munich office. Or the island of women so beautiful they make you weep? <laughs> Who are you talking about? Yeah, I'm just a new lawyer who's just transferred here from... The... Shh. She's coming. Thank you. Um, Gretchen, this is my wife, Dharma. Hi, Hi. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> Greg's been wonderful. He's really gone out of his way to make me feel at home. No, I haven't. I haven't gone out of my way at all. <laughs> Gretchen, would you like to wait in my office and I'll uh, be right there. I'm... Pete. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's a lawyer. She's a cute lawyer. It could happen. Look at you. <laughs> <gasps> The rest of the staff will be here in a minute for the uh, staff meeting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your wife is very lovely. Thank you. I did not know you were married. Yep, the uh, big 4.5 coming up. <laughs> Good one's always taken. <laughs> Where's that staff? <laughs> go, 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 check it out of my head. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. It's not quite the big welcome back. Party I was hoping for after being gone for five months, but you got me a cake, right? <laughs> Balloons? Dharma, sweetheart, we have some bad news. Uh, Abby, I'm the manager of the co-op. It's my responsibility to tell her. What's going on? Oh, for the love of God, you don't have to shoot the messenger. <laughs> Dharma... Do you remember the guy who took over your yoga classes when you were recuperating from your accident? Lolit? Sure. Well, it turns out he's very popular. And uh, he's going to be staying on. And a lot of your students are going to stay with him. How many is a lot? Every last thinking one of them. <laughs> Welcome back. I don't think so, Larry. So it has nothing to do with yoga? No, it is my understanding that the name of the cartoon Bear comes from a baseball player named Yogi Berra. <laughs> ah, Boo Boo, however, is derived from Buddha. Really? Now, of course, I'm yanking your chain. <laughs> well, Lead, I'm glad you're here. This is our daughter, Dharma. Oh, it's nice to meet Hi. you. It's really great that you decided to stay on. Ah, yes, I was wanting to go, but your students are working so hard at keeping me staying here. Yesterday, all of a sudden, they threw me a big party with cake and balloons. <laughs> okay, let's have our response to the FTC on the Conesco merger ready to go next week. Very good work, people. How to handle your staff. Thank you. You know what you want, and you're not afraid to ask for it. I don't know what I want. By the way, uh, the question of whether or not we're creating a shipping monopoly is an ICC issue, not an FTC issue. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think so. Oh, are you willing to back that up? I bet you drink on it. Uh, I, uh... Uh, Mr. Montgomery, your wife is on the line. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>
I mean, hello. This elite guy wrote a book about yoga. Big deal. He wrote five books. How do you write five books about yoga? Four about yoga. One is a romantic thriller set in the world of yoga. You know what? Let's forget about work and let's talk about what we want to do for our big anniversary. Do you want to go to a B and B or maybe just uh, stay home and have a romantic dinner? He sells yoga bras on his website. Uh -huh. I bought one. They're good. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm obsessing, and you're trying to sex me up. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. You know what? It's not Lalit's fault. He's a good yoga teacher. He's talented. Of course people would want to take his class. But he's a great guy. Maybe I should get to know him or maybe take one of his classes. Right? Right. Absolutely. You're not listening to me, are you? I mean, of course I'm listening to you. I've just, I got a lot of things on my mind. You don't work. Hey, let's go to the bedroom and start our anniversary a little early. Honey, that's not going to make my problem go away. He's not going to make your problem go away either. Really, Craig? Let's talk about yoga. Ooh, yoga. No, not yoga. This isn't about yoga. You're right. This is about my ego. <laughs> you know, this might be about your ego. I just said that. And I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> So, a teacher who wishes to continue learning. <laughs> this is very admirable. I thought so. I will put you on the waiting list for my beginner's class. Well, you know, I've been teaching yoga for nine years. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure you haven't done anybody any serious harm. All right, look, this was my class first. And I am really being the big person here. Yes, and that is exactly the problem. <laughs> Sit, I will tell you a little story. You see, I too was once a young yoga student filled with pride. Interesting, this is how a yoga teacher sits. <laughs> anyway, I was studying in India with a wonderful teacher. She was the most amazing woman I've ever met. She would even take me to her own home to tutor me privately. One night, she said, I must rid myself of all pretense. So, there we sat, unclothed, gazing into each other's eyes for hours. <laughs> Finally, I understood what she wanted. She wanted me to go and not return until I was humbled. I'm not so sure that was it. Yes, it was. Lolita, a woman takes you back to her house and takes all her clothes off? You don't think she was hitting on me, do you? Don't you laugh at your jokes? I am such a yut. No. It's probably not too late. I had such feelings for her. Do you think I should go back and tell her? Well, 20 years ago, she took her clothes off. My guess is it's your move. Well, you got me. Excuse me? I'll bet. Huh. ICC or FTC? <laughs> well, you were right. It was the FTC. Uh, 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 Gretchen, I, I really don't think we should be drinking champagne in the office. It's not technically champagne. It's from California. Hey, no, I know. It's just that I think that my concern would extend to all international sparkling wines. Greg, I'm not someone who watches on the bed. But, oh, ah! ah uh, um, uh, uh, here. Um, you do that, and I'll just get you a towel. No, 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 don't worry, Dory. I have an extra blouse in my bag. You do? Yes. <laughs> I'm such a klutz. <laughs> It's usually mustard vinaigrette. Yeah, I know. I've got a whole drawer full. Uh, you're gonna... I'll just... Uh, uh. Ah, son. Slate, what are you working on? Ah, nothing. At work. Almost done. <laughs> That's Gretchen. She's just... Uh...
buttoning up a few details. Yeah, she's terrific, isn't she? Yeah. Are, are you sure that they don't need her back in the Munich office? Oh, maybe, but we're keeping her here. She's smart, aggressive, knows what she wants, and she goes after it like a dog after a bone. Yeah, but, but, um, uh, aren't there some things that she could be going after in the Munich office, uh, bone-wise? <laughs> I have missed you so much. Hello. Are you okay? Fine, fine. Mm. 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 You're a good kisser. Too bad you had to leave the office before I could find out for myself. Wow. Why don't I open us a bottle of wine? Any special reason? No, just the excitement of being married to the most wonderful woman in the world. Thanks. Oh, yes. The most wonderful woman in the world. Who convinced a man to go back to India just because she couldn't stand a little competition? <laughs> We're all out of wine. What wine? The wine I just went to get. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. I'll check again. You know, we've got all night for romance. Do you want to watch some TV? Great idea. <laughs> This is nice. Just the two of us. <laughs>
I brought aphrodisiac lavender candles. This is Wiccan Passion Massage Oil. I couldn't find you any mandrake root love elixir. Oh. But the fellow at the herbal shop recommended this. It's a nice Merlot. <laughs> Thanks. Dharma, is there something wrong? You and Greg don't usually need the carnal jumper cables. No. I've just been so distracted lately, I can't seem to get in the mood. Distracted by what? Get her. I can't get Lalit Shadouri out of my head. Oh, well, I would think that would help. He's a very attractive man. Oh. <laughs> I feel awful, Abby. I kind of might have convinced Lalit to go back to India just because I wanted him out of the way. Oh, Dharma, even if that's what you did, at worst it means that you made a mistake. But Abby... You're human, darling. Forgive yourself. Let it go. Just let it go? <laughs> let it go. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I got you this. It's got chervil, mugwort, hibiscus root, and Chinese sage oil, and Greg is going to love it. Cool. <laughs> What's it do? Brings an ordinary salad to life. <laughs> wow! Honey! These are Ugandas ginormous <laughs> diamonds! <laughs> A sure thing. You didn't have to do this. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's our four and a half year anniversary. Oh, this is too much. Why did you do this? Because I'm racked with guilt. <laughs> because I love you. And? And you're just the most perfect woman in the world. Uh. Oh, yes. She's just perfect. <laughs> Not perfect, honey. I am just an ordinary human being who makes mistakes. <laughs> Let's get started. Gregory, I want to talk to you about planning a very important benefit at the country club. Nice move. Thinking about mom to try to chase the babe out of our head. It's an important benefit. It's a bloody bloody blah for the bloody bloody blah. Darmy, remember what I said. Forgive yourself for being a bad, bad, unforgivable person. <laughs> oh, your mommy's not going to help you now, is she? Mm. This wine is really good, huh? Yeah, it's really... Full-bodied with great legs and a splendid ass. Red. I don't know why Greg couldn't have found a smart, successful, beautiful, full-bodied... <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I'm Ty Cobb. At 367, I have the highest lifetime Major League batting average. And I held a record of 4,191 hits for 57 years. I like your pants. Honey, I'm gonna go lie down. I don't feel very yeah, well. me too. Oh, wait, 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 don't go. Forgive yourself. She didn't even take the salad dressing. What's she gonna say tomorrow when I ask her? What exactly are you doing here? I'm not sure. I usually don't show up until it's time to delay orgasm. <laughs> I don't remember much of what happened last night. But the boy who removes the sword from my head shall be king. <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry that I ruined our anniversary. It wasn't your fault. Yes, it was. Do you remember uh, Gretchen from the office? Sure, the hot one. Did something happen? No, no, no nothing happened. I just... I've been having all these weird... thoughts about her. Sexual fantasies? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, that's why the diamond. Are you mad? No, honey, it's perfect.
perfectly normal for you to have sexual fantasies about beautiful women. But if it makes you feel better to buy me expensive gifts, I'm not going to argue. <laughs> of course she's fine with it. You keep forgetting you're married to a very special woman. You're a very special woman. <laughs> you think she's special enough to go for a threesome? <laughs> I'm going to go make some coffee. <laughs> I like coffee when it's strong and hot. <laughs> That's right. You're a very special woman.